I think every kid, for the most part, grows up wanting to play baseball, wanting to be on a team, wanting to be part of a, a unit, uh, uh, wanting to be coached, wanting to figure out how fundamentals and teaching and coaching and teamwork and discipline can help them become a better person. And when I go down to Centennial Field and not to hear the bats and balls and kids hitting in the cages is, is an absolute shame. My uncle played there. Uh, he played third base um, in the early 90s. My uncle, is, I looked up to him when he played at UVM and you know, going through high school, um, that's where I wanted to play. I walked on, earned a roster spot. There was only one, one spot and it was just such a great feeling. And I'm gonna be with this team and I'm gonna have a chance to be on the team every year now and, and pitch and you know, it's a place where my, my family can come uh, watch me because it's 40 minutes away. On February 20th of 09, at about 10 o'clock in the morning, we had got a text message uh, from the athletic department saying you have a meeting in the Boswick room. We go in the room and the athletic director reads off of a, reads right off of a page. We had to be eliminated. It was one of the most devastating emotions I've had uh, around sports uh, because I knew that 25 players are going to be after searching for something else. The coaches and the staff are going to have to, their life is completely uprooted. No sport has greater history than baseball. Look at the history of UVM baseball. The tradition has been tremendous all the way back to Ralph LaPointe back in the 60s. Uh, Ralph in 15 years never had a losing season. The reason I went to UVM uh, was partly because of the coach, Ralph LaPointe, arguably the finest coach in the country at the time. I had a lot of really good players. Uh, you know, Bill Currier being one of them, who ended up coaching at the University of Vermont for 22 years. Bill Currier is the most winning coach in the history of UVM of any sport. I mean, Bill Currier was doing an incredible job. I'm biased because I worked with him, but he was a great coach, incredibly knowledgeable baseball coach, had Vermont connections, was able to recruit Vermont players, was able to deal with the weather challenges. You know, he did so much with so little. Um, that it, it was remarkable what a job he was doing specifically, but what, what great things UVM baseball was doing in general. What I was told is that the, that the America East had sports of emphasis. Men and women's soccer, men and women's basketball, men and women's lacrosse. And so I think the athletic administration said we're going to put a lot of resources into those three sports. And as a result, baseball and women's softball were, were discontinued. Come to find out the next year, they put more money into athletics than they did the year before. So it wasn't a money issue. I think it was a personal issue. When you look at the numbers, the budget numbers, it makes no sense. We're the third cheapest sport to run at University of Vermont, uh, and we were the most successful. So I really felt like we were had really nothing to prove. We were overachieving. What I think could have happened is what the University of Massachusetts did. They took five to 10% off each sport uh, and then continued to fund baseball. When I coached at UVM, about half of our team was from Vermont. Coach Currier recruited those kids that were not necessarily being recruited by other schools out of state. And it just gave them that opportunity to play. We've had uh, over 28 players drafted uh, out of the uh, University of Vermont and probably 18 of them have been Vermont kids. We have a lot of good high school baseball players, and for any baseball player growing up and playing high school ball in Vermont, to have the opportunity to look at going to your state university to play Division I college baseball was huge. That's what, that's what every kid wants. It would just be great if those kids had UVM to look at as a goal for their future. A lot of times when I see a, a little leaguer that, has, that you can tell has a lot of potential, um, I usually immediately think, uh, I hope that UVM will have baseball by the time he's in college. Um, because someone that has uh, the talent to play Division I needs, needs to be there. And there's like no exceptions. And the, it's the only Division I team in the state, the only Division I college in the state. So it's, a, it's unfortunate that these, you know, these, these kids don't have a place to play. You know, it's unfortunate. And uh, so I'm hoping um, that the university will realize that, the administration will realize it, how much and how important 
to the fiber of this university athletics are, um, but at the same time, in particular, baseball. Well, I, I for a year, basically carried the torch, uh, questioning UVM's, sent letters to trustees, sent uh, articles to trustees, sent articles to the athletic administration, uh, I think now uh, the friends of UVM baseball, we have five goals, we've accomplished four. Our fifth goal is to bring back Division I baseball. I, I have a uh, great deal of respect with, with what the committee is doing and uh, what the friends of uh, UVM baseball uh, is all about. And without their feeling, without their passion, without their commitment, um, you know, it's, it's very likely it could have, you know, go off into the sunset and nobody ever think about it anymore. It is the state university. They should have a baseball team. Hopefully we can get enough momentum to get it back because uh, it belongs at the university. Is it back? Not yet. But it's coming. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back.